Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued today Edict 19 of 2019 appointing Sheikh Sha'al bin Khalifa bin Hamad, Al bin Hamad Al Khalifa as Director of Administrative and Development Organization at the Ministry of Interior. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 20 of 2019 appointing Ali Abdul Rahman Al Ansari as Director of Fisheries at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 21 of 2019 appointing Ali Muhammad al kabi as Director of Human and Financial Resources at the Public Prosecution. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Bahrain, Simon Martin, at Dhabiya Palace to mark the end of the Ambassador's service in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the historical and strategic ties between Bahrain and the UK, stressing the importance of further expanding cooperation in all fields. He extended thanks and appreciation to the Ambassador for his efforts in enhancing bilateral relations and wished him every success in his future endeavours. The meeting also provided an opportunity to review regional and international issues of mutual interest. The Ambassador expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, expressing his appreciation for the support he received during his tenure in Bahrain. He also thanked His Royal Highness to, for his support in further strengthening relations between Bahrain and UK, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The President of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the military consumer establishment New Branch in Khalifa Town in the presence of the Director of the National Guard, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, and senior National Guard officers. The inauguration aims to provide various essential and consumer material for the National Guard's affiliates with prices that are suitable for all categories. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa also inspected a number of the officers and individuals housing units and congratulated the beneficiaries of the housing project. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his continuous support and provision of a decent life for the National Guard affiliates and their families.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, participated along with the Council's delegation in the concluding session of the International Parliamentary Forum held in Moscow, which witnessed the presence of the Russian pre President Vladimir Putin. Zainal affirmed that the vision and wise directives of His Majesty the King during his prosperous era have made the Bahraini people a key partner in national decision-making through democratic, civilizational practices, legal institutions, and free constitutional will. She added that the kingdom is a leader in the fields of advancement and sustainable development and stated that the Representatives Council supports the investment of digital transformations while harnessing them in favor of the country and building society. She noted that Bahrain attaches great importance to economic growth through a modern legislative and executive structure as well as the introduction of a financial balance program that has contributed to enhancing the financial and economic position of the kingdom. She expressed deep pride and appreciation for the development and progress in Bahrain and the interest in all areas of sustainable development as a result of the royal vision and distinguished efforts of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, has stressed the need to open new horizons to boost community partnership and lay pillars to deal with legislation in line with the kingdom's development momentum. Addressing the We Work Together for Legislative Aspiration Conference, he held the two-day event which aims to achieve social partnership between the Shura Council and the Bahraini community to involve them in the legislative process and equip them with the legislative work skills. He noted that the conference reflects commitment to the national responsibility of working out development visions and strengthening the legislative system which is considered a main pillar for the accomplishments brought under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Saleh said the conference convenes after 17 years of launching the bicameral legislative branch work which asserts the need to open new horizons to achieve community partnership and cooperation and lay the basis to deal with legislation and laws. He underlined the importance of the conference which reflects keenness on communication between leading figures, parliamentarians and members of the Bahraini community to discuss key issues. The conference chairperson and head of the Shura Council's Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee, Dalal Jassim Zayed, stressed the importance of the conference in building quality partnership based on consultation and the exchange of ideas. Cairo is holding the meetings of the Arab Public Prosecutors Association where the Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al Bainin was elected as Secretary General of the Association amid consensus of the representatives. The Attorney General's election was in recognition of his significant efforts in strengthening the relations of the public prosecution agencies in support of their mission and the role of the Bahraini public prosecution in establishing judicial cooperation in all fields at the regional and international levels. The Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq Al Hassan, visited today the Royal Police Academy where he viewed the programs and activities of the 11th summer camp organized by the Academy in cooperation with Temki. He also followed up on the most recent plans and programs in the camp and witnessed a number of lectures and workshops. The Chief of Public Security affirmed that the summer camp comes as an implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness Crown Prince and his desire for the Royal Academy to implement a summer program for training young people and encouraging volunteer work. Al Hassan expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior for his keen interest on the success of the summer camp and pointed out that it is one of the executive mechanisms that contribute to activating the initiatives of the national plan to promote national belonging and consolidating the values of citizenship, which enhance the national identity and consolidate the values of loyalty, belonging and good citizenship. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Royal Academy of Police and Temkin for their efforts to make the summer camp a success, to provide the best programs and events and contribute to the development of the participants. The National Bureau for Revenue held an interactive VAT workshop during which general and sector specific VAT concepts, including invoicing and filing, were recapped. 75 attendees representing 54 entities were given the opportunity to visit a unique interactive demo center that provides innovative learning experiences to ensure effective implementation of VATS. Today's workshop is a continuation of a series of workshops organized by the NBR to provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders for the public and private sectors in order to increase awareness of VATS. 